guys and welcome back to my channel and to this week's video. So I realised that I haven't actually filmed an intro for any of my two recent theatre trips. So I went to watch Heather's and then I went to watch Miss Saigon and I didn't actually film the intros. So I decided well I'm going to merge the videos into one big theatre um, video anyway. So on Thursday, it was Thursday, wasn't it? Thursday, I went to watch Heather's at Power yeah, Theatre in Manchester. And then we went to watch Miss Saigon in Sheffield at the Cru at the Crucial Theatre. Um, and they were both incredible. Well, I, Heather's, I knew I only loved it and it was just amazing. And then Miss Saigon, I'd heard of it. But it was never one that I'd gone to watch. And we went to watch it, A, because my mum, my dad love it. So she was really excited to go and watch it. And someone that I now work for the Keddy Scott um, Theatre Agency as well, an admin assistant, and one of the Keddy Scott clients is in it. Um, his name is Calm Tempest, so I also wanted to go and watch him in it. And it was amazing. I absolutely loved it. So let's go on with the video.
So guys, I'm just going to take you through the programs for both shows. So obviously I'm going to start with Heather's here. I've got both the regular program, as you can see, and the souvenir tour, the souvenir tour book. So in the souvenir tour book, you've obviously got, this is like the main creative team um, for it all. And then throughout, it's got different photos. So obviously it starts with the, that's from obviously the, oh, it's gone really blurry. There we go. That's from the opening number. But then it goes into this. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. There. It's the um, message from the... Well, it's from Andy Fickman. Who obviously wrote it. But as if he was the principal of school. Which I actually thought was really, 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 really cool. Um, oh. Then it goes in. It's just like an, a really cool array of photos. But then what I thought. Because obviously the show's based in 1989. It's got that. I thought that was pretty cool. Then it's just got loads of photos from different sections in the show that you can like frame um round. And then obviously it's photos from the original film and things, which I just think it's really, really cool. Um that are not so they're the people who wrote the show. Um uh, Kevin Mur Kevin Mur I can't speak. Kevin Murphy and Lawrence. Um uh, but it's just such amazing photos that you can like pull out and put onto your wall which i know i'm I, what i might have to do though because i wouldn't want to tear them out i think i'm gonna have to like pull them out and then like you know stick them up but in here if or if you weren't to get a um, program they have that sheet in um which is if you weren't to get a program it's got the entire cast in anyway um but yeah it's just got all the photos and then this is the actual program so it's a little welcome to the palace because obviously it was performed at the palace theatre so this program was specific to the palace so that's about where we sat um because this is the palace's specific one and it goes not what i thought was pretty cool is obviously people don't really know the backgrounds at all blurry again there we go backgrounds of theatre so it, that specifically talks about that the palace's the palace theatre's history and how it became the theatre it was um got a bit of lion king there i really want to watch lion king um, but yeah, but it, I think it's really cool how it's just so that just gives you a bit of an insight. But that's the main. Why does my camera keep going blurry today? There we go. So that's just the. Oh my goodness. There we go. So that's like the main cast and everything that has. Then obviously it goes into detail in the cast. So we had the entire full cast, all the musical numbers. Oh, yeah, those are all the act two. Even though it seems a lot more song heavy, it's amazing. We had the the total main cast, so we obviously had Jenna Ains, which it's got all the credits. And at the bottom, in case you don't already follow them, but I was so excited to go and watch Jacob Fowler because obviously he was part of Little Mix. He was in the Little Mix, the search and everything, which actually does get um, spoken about on here. What? Oh my God, right? Verity, she literally only graduated in 2022. And like, she's already made it into Heather's. I was like, go on, Verity. Or Billy, right? I'm not even joking. I, I already love Billy because obviously she was in it in London and she's the one who's come up from being... She came in on the big fun day. Um, she came in from it then, didn't she? Um, and it's just amazing what she's done. But, yeah. Ah. It just... I, I loved both Alex and Morgan. They were really... They worked really well together. Like, do you know when... With one of them being tall and one of them being a bit shorter, it made it really funny. Um... And all the all the multi rolling that these um that Connor and Jay did, you the amount of multi rolling that they have, the amount of multi rolling anyone who plays those parts have is like amazing. I follow Liam on TikTok. Oh my god, he's so funny, and he's really flexible. He's he's also covered JD, which my friend went to watch it on the Saturday, um. And watched him as cover JD and that he was amazing at it. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if I, you can see these people. But on this side we've got Lizzie Emery, which is the Midwestern server punk. She, that's the extra part that got put in when Billy joined. And it's the part that covers all other parts. And right, she's she is uh, repped by Keddy Scott. Which is obviously like I um, mentioned earlier, the company that I 
um, work for, which I didn't actually realise um, she was part of, because she's not um, the one that I work for. But obviously there you've also seen the um, one that has the trigger warning, which I think, obviously, having that in there is amazing, but they never they don't really do an overhead announcement on it either, which I think is would be pretty good if you had an overhead announcement on it. Um, just for anyone who doesn't buy a programme. But then obviously, this page, it goes into all of the cast who play who understudies who and all of that details the band and everything why does my camera keep going blurry today has it come back ish there we go so it's got all the behind the scenes aspects of it which i think it's nice to go into the details of all the background people which right christopher parkinson and i managed to do an um, incredible workshop with him last year um, at an intensive summer school that I did, he's just an an incredible, incredible guy. Uh, and it obviously goes into the producers, um, and all of the, all of those details, which is, I like how they name absolutely everyone involved in it because it's just everyone getting the recognition for the, <coughs> everyone getting the recognition for the work that they've done. I think it's just so like important that everyone gets the credit that they deserve because everyone puts so much effort in. It isn't just the it isn't just the people on stage that put in all the effort for it. Then obviously you get your general adverts for the theatre. These theatre card it get, gets you like priority booking and twenty five percent off and everything. My um, sisters actually got one of the cards, which is amazing. So this is our Miss Saigon programme. So it just starts with the main like cast and creative not the cast like the creative team. Um and a general welcome to the theatres because it's in a like a group of Sheffield theatres. Then it's the cast, there's um Calm Tempest obviously we went to watch. Then it goes into the production team and who all the orchestra are. All the musical numbers, which the, even though there's so many more musical numbers in Act One you don't really tell because both acts like feel similar length um then i don't actually know what this is <laughs> cast photos oh brill i love these cast i love when they have the cast photos they're the steps that i don't know if i've mentioned that after this uh, then in the <laughs> then interviews with some of the tech team about how all that works 
then it goes into so that's the female engineer that we had um she was really really good but then obviously it goes into all general details about the cast um there we have callum tempest in his amazingness that's the little boy that we had who was so cute he's only four playing that part he was so cute then obviously it goes into the creatives um biographies about all they don't have their photo I didn't realise that it was Cameron Macintosh until literally just, just then going through the programme. But yeah, more details on all of these tech people, which I like how they've given them all the, their own little spiel to tell us about what they've done. Then it goes into the general bits. More photos, the wonderful photos of the cast that you had. Um, a couple of photos and obviously advertisements for what they've got going on at the theatre. I didn't realise that they did the members, like like we have for ATG, like we've got the ATG. I didn't realise that the Sheffield Theatres did that as well. I really want to go and watch White Christmas. I was in it when I was eight. I really want to go and watch it, and then obviously. But yeah, that's our programme. Hi guys, so it is now Sunday. We went to watch Miss Saigon yesterday, and it was Heather's first day just gone, and they were both really, really good. I was really impressed. Um, when I went, when I went to watch Heather's, I already knew that I loved Heather's, and I thought, like, it was one of them that I've always wanted to watch it in person, but obviously never been able to, and it's because it's gone on tour that I've now been able to, and it was, it lived up to its expectations of what I was hoping for. I've obviously watched the pro shot a lot of times, and it, it's so much better in person, so when so you get the idea of what it's like, but it's when you think you can see, because obviously the scene changes, I don't know if you realised it, but they use the same people in the set for it all. Like, what was the 7 Eleven also changed into JD's bedroom and was all sort of like, it was loads of different stuff, and I thought that was really, really cool the way that they did that. And you can see all of that a lot more when you watch it in person, you can see how they changed. I thought that was really cool. Um, but the cast that we had as well, we had the entire um, main cast, we had no covers or anything, which I was really, really happy about, because obviously, I love the cast, um, and we had Jacob Fowler, which is one I really wanted to see, because obviously he was in, um, his little mix, the search, the band that they created, um, but no, it was just amazing, it was an incredible, um, musical, and I was very happy to have been able to watch it. Miss Magon. <laughs> no, I was in there. And the side on. I I I heard I've heard of the musical, but I've never like watched it before. Well, I never watched that film. My mum watched it live, and I've never even watched it. Um, so it wasn't really something I was um like very familiar with, like I was with Heather's. But it it was amazing. It's it's actually really sad. I didn't actually know what it was. Well, I knew what it was about. Yeah. Right. Actually, sorry, I didn't cry because I think I didn't know what it was about as much, so I didn't. It didn't make me cry. Wait, this way. Oh God. So it didn't make me cry. Um, Doc loved it because I didn't know this, but apparently you only ha ever have like a male um, engineer. engineer, but we had a female engineer. It worked really, really well. It did. It was um, really, really at good. At first, like at the beginning, the um, I the name was a one. Joanne Ampill, you were a very good engineer. <laughs> <laughs> no, at first, I was like, oh, I don't know what it's going to be like with a female engineer because it's never happened before. But I think it worked better. Mm. Like, it worked really, really well. It did. Um, it was really, really good. So, yeah. I thought you were um, really good. So, yeah. But, yeah, it was really good. The little boy that we had the entire was adorable. Oh, it was only really four. It was so cute. Um, but, yeah, it was really good. The thing is, yeah, they had the orchestra as well. It was like... So you shut your teeth, you'll see it in there. Yeah, I've got it. Really but they nice. have, like, with that said, they will say, I don't know, I think I got it in the technical where they have the steps. And it's like from there, it's behind <coughs> those doors that they put the steps is where the orchestra is. I was like, that's pretty sick. Because obviously it's a semi thrust um, stage. So obviously, where you would have it, it'd be blocking aspects of the audience ball. So I thought it was really cool the way that they keep them behind but then you could still see them on aspects when they opened the door and that was lit and stuff so that was really good um but yeah and that no but yeah 
I'm, I'm hoping it will get picked up to go into the West End. Mm. So is it, is it a Sheffield over there? Yeah, Sheffield um, Crucible. It was only on for like a limited run. Um, okay. From the 8th of July to the 19th of August, so okay. just over a month, literally yeah. a month and a week. Um, but yeah, no, I think it should 100% get picked up Definitely. for the West End. So. Really good. And you've got Clueless Lake, but yeah, they were both incredible. I really enjoyed them. So, yeah. So guys, now that I've actually left and I can finish filming this video on my own, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed the theatre trips. It was it's been a very theatrely week for me this week. Um, go and watch them, and then next week I have my intensive week. Um, it's been a very very theatrely week for me, and this this is what I want to do in my life. So I'll be getting used to it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Oh, I Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and subscribe down below to see other videos just like this one. On my channel already, I have my Lemiz experience, my Harry Watt Fletcher experience. Um, I think those are the two that I've got up so far, but we will be getting a lot more. My London vlogs will be coming. They will be coming. I've just been so busy since I got home from London that they've not. I've not managed to have time to edit them, but they will be coming up as soon as I can. Where I obviously have my general days in London, also my Back to the Future and Wicked. And my theatre kit designer, that was incredible to see a designer, I absolutely loved it. But yeah, make sure you subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you can see when my London videos do come up. And yeah, love you guys.